How the fuck's it going everyone? Back today with another video and one that honestly I haven't put an awful lot of thought into. This was a bit of a last minute shake up for me because I was planning on doing a kind of extensive album review for a brand new release that came out yesterday um, on October the 20th. That is a Friday if you're watching this way in the future. Um, but yeah, I hadn't actually gathered all my thoughts, all my notes and all that stuff for the kind of review yet. So I tried to get a bit more done this morning, but I've been busy. I've been playing drums and things like that. Um, so I just haven't managed to get that sorted. Not to mention the fact that the UFC is on at a reasonable time for us here in the UK for a change. So I will be watching that in about an hour's time. Um, again, if this is way in the future, it's the Volkanovsky Islam Makachev card. Um, but yeah, I figured I would just come along with a kind of black metal recommendations video um, just to kind of sneak a quick one in just so I'm not depriving you of content over this weekend. Granted, I will be back tomorrow, hopefully with said review. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be a few black metal records I wanted to talk about, uh, or at least in the black metal kind of sound space, if not straight black metal. Um, and yeah, but first of all, as you will see in the title, or as you will have seen in the title if you're not kind of walking around with your eyes closed, I actually yesterday hit 2,000 subscribers and have now surpassed 2,000 subscribers, which is absolutely obscene to me. I started this channel expecting to, well, I'm not even expecting to, kind of hoping to get a few hundred maybe, and then I'd just be happy doing my little fucking nerdy thing over here, talking about music, showing my records, um, and talking about stuff that I'm interested in, basically. It was always just going to be a hobby. It was never going to kind of take off as much as it has. And I, I'm not saying kind of 2,000 subs is a huge thing, but to me it really is. I've not long surpassed kind of 1,000 so I hadn't actually planned anything for like a 2000 sub special or anything like that. So I'm just going to kind of worm that into the sort of Halloween giveaway and maybe make that a bit of a bigger video, um, adding a few extra elements into it. But yeah, I just want to say a huge cheers to everybody so far who has been supporting me every single vid. I see the same faces, the same names commenting and um, supporting me, saying they're enjoying the shit, giving me suggestions. Um, just chatting to me about music and I really really appreciate it I always always go out my way to try and kind of reply to you guys just because you're taking time out of your day to watch me talk utter shite over here um, and it's just awesome the support's been wicked and I've only been doing this thing for about 10 months and um, give or take maybe slightly longer and to hit 2,000 subscribers in that time frame is absolutely obscene i never thought i would hit that never mind in such a short space of time so again thank you so much massively appreciated hails and uh yeah let's talk about some records now that the soppy shit's out of the way look at my fucking back cup as well how cute is that um yeah so what's going on in the background first of all if the glare will let me show it this is Crypts with their sophomore full-length album entitled Remnants of Expansion. Um, this was put out through Dark Descent Records. And if you're not familiar with Crypts, they're like a Finnish death doom band. Kind of creeping over to black and death metal. Um, really dark and cavernous and brooding. Like there's always going to be something massive coming. Um, there's just something really, really special about this band's sound, especially on the uh, first two albums, I believe. I can't remember what the first album's called. I want to say Unending Degradation, but I might have just made that up. I'll correct that in the uh, description box below. Uh, but yeah, this is super dark, super slow, mid-paced kind of death metal. Really low growls, as you'll hear in the background. Very memorable kind of melodic leads going all the way through this thing. We do get occasional blast beat sections as well. So uh, if you're looking for just straight brutality, doesn't go amiss over here. Um, but yeah, absolutely killer shit. Go and check that out. Absolutely fantastic. That's Crypt with Remnants of Expansion to kick things off. So yeah, I've got uh, two new arrivals in here. So two new black metal records that have just come in. And then a couple that I've just pulled out of the kind of 
vault of my collection here. Just take another swig of beer. Um, so yeah, I'll just kick things off with the albums that I've pulled out of my collection. And we'll go from there. This is the... I think this came out last year. I'm going to say the 2022 split between Malthusian and Suffering Hour. Entitled Time's Withering Shadow. That's a fucking mouthful, isn't it? Um, yeah, so this is kind of a... Both bands here are black and death metal inherently, but there, is, there are lots of blackened elements kind of surging through this thing. Um, Malthusian are an Irish uh, black and death metal band, I believe. Um, and their side on this is very kind of... Again, crawling, dirgeful, kind of um, really dark cavernous kind of incantation-esque dead congregation-esque death metal very very kind of uh, suffocating claustrophobic nothing too fancy but the rhythms are incredibly incredibly complex and um, again nothing too kind of i don't know nothing too fancy going on as i say nothing too different death growls bellows blast beats um really dark grating riffs um, and just, yeah, an absolute killer of a side for that band. I'm not familiar with their other work at all. I picked this up mainly for Suffering Hours side because I've been a fan of that band for uh, years at this point. Um, but yeah, Malthusian found another fan in me with their side on this thing. As for, suffer uh, as for Suffering Hour, um, they are a kind of... Um, I want to see... I'll say black and death metal band again, but that does not tell the whole story with that band. Very, very complex and almost experimental um, kind of black and death metal. We've got a really weird sort of robotic sounding lead guitar that's very kind of, it's almost whiny and grating. It's like, wow, wow. Um, that's exactly how it sounds. Um, but yeah, really kind of dissonant and very erratic. Those kind of lead notes just kind of ping across the whole um, kind of soundscape on their side. I believe there's like I can't remember if there's like harmonica or bagpipes on one of their tracks. I think it might be harmonica um, and it just sounds so so unique. Um, I love that they're still kind of developing their sound despite kind of having a very very established style that people seem to be really really resonating with um, but yeah, this thing's awesome. Love the guy's vocals on Suffering Hour. Very, very gurgly and nasty sounding. If you like uh, David Mickelson's voice out for Undergang and all the other fucking projects he's in, you'll probably dig these. Um, but yeah, drumming's really complex as well. Absolutely love the drum work. Their um, EP Dwell really caught my attention for the complex drumming, and uh, this is no different. It's absolutely splendid, um, and it's just an assault on the senses. So yeah, go and check that out. That's Malthusian and Suffering Hour with their split EP, Time's Withering Shadow. Um, this was put out through Invictus Records, by the way, on Invictus Productions. Front cover shows a skull with a dagger sticking out of its forehead uh, with a bunch of worms and shit coming out of it. Absolutely love that artwork really really uh, interesting to look at it's one of those things you just get immersed in while you're listening to the record um back over there we've got malthusian's logo and suffering hours with the track listing um with both bands looking menacing in some sort of church ch churchyard or courtyard or something there on the inside, we've got the alter alternate artwork, which uh, I don't know if it ended up on any physical releases, but um, yeah, um, really cool as well. Uh, I think I prefer the one on the actual cover of this LP, but that looks sick as well. And we've got the uh, credits and lyrics in there. And this came on a very unique kind of brown vinyl. Um, I think I've only got two brown records in my entire collection. Um, so yeah, that's a nice unique piece um, that goes absolutely perfectly with that cover art. Um, yeah, if you're not familiar with either of these bands, but you like bands like, I don't know, like Crick Squaw, um, probably butchering that um, band name there, um, excuse me, Grave Miasma, any bands like that that are just like crawling, just insanity from the uh, kind of caves or cavern systems or whatever, just all that nasty shit, then yeah, give this a listen. Sounds completely inhuman, super evil, and um, 
just bone crushing. That's Malthusian and Suffering Hour. With Time's Withering Shadow to kick things off. Next up is a record I couldn't remember if I'd actually shown on this channel yet, but it's one I've quite fancied talking about just for pure novelty's sake. This is Germany's Chthonic Cervix, and don't get me to fucking spell the way they've uh, kind of uh, spelled that there. Um, with their sophomore full-length album entitled Equazoikum. Yeah, we're going with that. Um, this one was put out through Iron Bonehead Records. And if you're not familiar with this, this, a bit like Suffering Hour, is very, very dissonant, very weird and almost experimental black and death metal. But this thing is so bizarre. Imagine if you took something like Voivod, for example. I'll go with Voivod for want of a better kind of example. And just injected all of their kind of bizarreness into a black and death metal album. And you've got that here. We've got riffs all over the shop. Weird transitions. Really, really zany kind of licks. Lots of dissonance leads everywhere really really kind of interesting drum bars and patterns that you just can't nod your head along to without looking like an absolute dickhead when it finally changes over and your head's just left bubbling around like fucking the churchill dog or whatever for you americans i don't know if uh, churchill actually was a thing in your country but basically it's a bobblehead that was on an advert but i digress um yeah this is absolutely bizarre it sounds like some sort of weird fever dream or like you've just kind of been sucked into a vortex of just eerie cosmic sounds it's just so kind of eclectic and different and yeah you really need to go and check this shit out it's probably more on the black inside i would argue um but yeah just just weird um absolute chaos basically chthonic cervix with equazoicum um, front cover there, I don't have a clue what's going on, but I love the colour scheme. Um, yeah, I don't know, that thing kind of reminds me of the Donnie Darko rabbit, but I don't know if that's what it's kind of meant to look like. Um, we've got like a weird like dragon looking thing here. Um, looks kind of like, um, what's it called, Moon Presence off Bloodborne. But uh, yeah, really abstract, really bizarre and really fits the uh, music as well. Uh, back cover there, we've got the really wacky looking um, kind of font they've used for the album title there, track listing, and as I say, Iron Bonehead put this one out, we've got a few credits down below there as well. Inside, we've got more kind of really weird creatures with what looks like a, a zip opening up some sort of time warp, I don't know, but um, yeah, really, really creepy looking shit and inside it's just black vinyl nothing too fancy um but yeah if you haven't heard this this thing's kind of underrated if you ask me um it's very very weird um so yeah if you're fancying something a bit more out there a bit more novel um and a bit less kind of worshipping of the originators of the subgenres, then yeah please go and check that out that's chthonic cervix with equazoicum i'm sure i'm pronouncing that perfectly as i do with every single even remotely difficult album title on this channel but uh, yeah you know me by now do forgive no, another quick swig of beer it'd be rude not to saturday afternoon getting ready for the fight next up is an album that i just got in a couple of days ago i believe um another one out of finland this is summer with their debut EP entitled Summer. Um, so yeah, not a very well-known band um, because there's not a lot of material um, going on in this band's discography just yet. I think they've only got two EPs so far. Uh, this one in Prussian Blood. Um, but this is like really, really well-written raw black metal. Um, this is one of the uh, Death Prayer Records um, black metal bands. So you kind of know what you're getting into with that kind of stuff very very raw black metal generally this one it's very very purposefully raw but none of the kind of um music or instrumentation is lost amongst the static here um 
The drumming is a particular kind of high point for me on this thing. It sounds like it's recorded in a garage, but it just pokes through the mix enough so that it doesn't get like really obnoxious. It's not super in your face. It's not really distracting. It's just really, really cool sounding. Love the sound of the snare drum. Um, with recordings like this, when they get the snare drum sounding like this shit, I could listen to it all day long. Um, as for the riffs, it's one of those bands that manages to capture the um, sort of feeling and atmosphere of war. Um, it's really kind of emotive and thought provoking and just really, I don't know, it just brings across a feeling of sadness and kind of the tragedy of these guys having to go to war, being murdered and well, killed unnecessarily um, for the country's gain um, or whoever's in charge of that country at the time. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really well written. We've got kind of, the vocals aren't too kind of um, unique or anything. We've just got black and screams kind of thing. Um, we've got a few like really nice moans that draw out syllables here, which I love. I love a bit of like unhinged kind of um, effect. I love unhinged effects when it comes to vocals. If I can spit my goddamn words out. Um, yeah, this thing's an absolute treat for the ears. It's only about 20 minutes long. And there's a couple of like uh, sound clips at the beginning and end of this thing as well. So yeah, plenty of bang for your buck, well worth picking up. Um, so yeah, front cover there shows, I uh, don't know who that is, but um, it might actually tell me if there's an insert in here. Let's have a look. No, excellent, what a waste of time. But uh, yeah, anyway, somebody, some I'm assuming he's somebody to do with the battle of summer or something like that but um yeah love that anyway love the border and looks like a raw black metal album back cover we've got the really cool looking logo um with all the iron crosses that i know all you guys love um fucking chatting shit to me about um uh, and then we've got like a really cool sketch of a soldier leaning on a I'm not really sure what's going on, but he seems to be like looking over a bridge or something like that. But anyway, very cool. On the insert, we've got a bunch of soldiers. I don't know if he's like pinning a badge on him. He looks like he is getting some sort of award or medal. Um, and on the back there, we've got something very German looking again with German language. I'm not sure what that says, but if anybody's German, in the comments on watching this, please do tell me what that says. I'll hold it up a bit longer so that you can actually get a chance to read it. Assuming that's not back to front on the fucking camera, didn't even think of that. Uh, black vinyl for black metal. Only black vinyl is real when it comes to this shit. Absolutely killer. That's Summer out of Finland playing some very like anti, well not anti Finnish, that sounds like it's hateful, but uh, I don't know, it doesn't sound like Finnish black metal at all. So yeah, give that a whirl. If you like bands like Revenant, Marquise, um, then yeah, you'll dig this. But um, yeah, check it out. If you like raw black metal, bound to float your goat. And finally, is an album from a band from my neck of the woods. We don't really get this very often, but this is in fact a band out of Durham, uh, Darlington, uh, which is just up the road from me pretty much here in Chesley Street. Um, but this is the uh, second full-length album, I believe, from one-man black metal band, Winter Mist. Um, this is entitled Bitter Hymns. Now, if you don't know Winter Mist, they've brought out one album prior, and I believe maybe one EP. And um, yeah, they're pretty much flying the flag for local black metal around here. Very kind of trebly sort of black metal, very grating, screechy, and very cold sounding, um, as you can probably tell by the kind of winter themed album, uh, sorry, band name, as well as album title, I suppose. But yeah, the riffing on this thing, there's lots of tremolo picking going on, um, so you can kind of gauge what this is all about. Screechy vocals, very, very piercing on the old ears here. Uh, the drumming is excellent. I think he got a session musician in to do the drumming, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, it's very, very pristine. And as I noticed um, in this one, the drumming's very, very kind of um, tidy, not too like um, flamboyant and over the top, which would not fit an album like this. This is just one of those albums where to describe it, you'd just say straightforward kind of 
melody dripping kind of um, black metal which doesn't really tell the full story of how good the songwriting is over here track arrangements perfect the emotion that kind of feels like it has gone into this is just kind of seeping through the pores of this album and uh, yeah please go and check it out support my local scene um, because yeah super exciting to have a band from so close to me uh, kind of putting out an album as good as this so yeah front cover there absolutely love that shit it shows like a starlit sky with a massive moon in the background with like a mountainous sort of a uh, landscape with a dead tree and i'm guessing it's all snow capped um, but yeah really cool that is a wacky looking logo as well that is cool as shit it's got like a wolf head howling at the moon um and then we've got the um title below <laughs> we've got a massive blown up photo of the logo there with more wolf heads and a couple of crows or at least corvids perched atop uh track listing there death prayer records put this out which is a merge between um death cult and uh goat prayer records they just merged the two labels um so yeah cool shit on the insert we've got a picture of our guy here steve blackwood um stood in the woods i mean what more would you expect from a black metal band uh, we've got credits and lyrics on both sides with the trees and stuff like that really nice absolutely love that layout and this one unlike summer came on white vinyl white vinyl for black metal is equally as satisfying especially when you've got a black and white kind of uh, pencil drawn cover um i don't even know if that is pencil drawn or pen drawn whatever hand drawn artwork splendid shit yeah so please go and check that out check out any of death prayer records uh, roster because to be honest they haven't missed with me yet um they have winter missed with me oh, dear me I, I started that joke and wished i didn't but uh yeah never mind uh, that's winter mist with bitter hymns please go and check that out absolutely killer stuff um and that concludes this vid sorry this one was a bit kind of uh, thrown together um hopefully you found some cool shit in there though i feel like there was a bit of obscurity to that um kind of recommendations um pile let me know if you found anything cool in there let me know if you've kind of heard any of these um but yeah otherwise please do listen to these over the weekend i'm hoping this can be the soundtrack to the rest of it um but yeah thank you again so much for the support um it's incredibly humbling and i don't even understand how uh, i've got such an incredible kind of following but um regardless i do and i'm eternally grateful 2000 subs who'd have fucking thunk it um yeah i'm gonna go watch the fights now i'll probably be back tomorrow i'll try and kind of make some take some more notes while i'm watching some of the prelims um of the fight card for the album review that i was planning on doing uh, but yeah take care as always thank you so much and i will catch you in the next one <laughs>